The last few ayat that I want to share with you, Udran aw nudra. Udran aw nudra. People, all of us will feel the wind on our face. There will be two kinds of people. People that will take the reminder and now they are warned, right? What's the other kind of person? Nothing. Nothing, they just pass out, nice breeze. Right? So for the people who took the warning, the, me, the winds served as a warner. Nudra. And for the people who didn't care, now the wind is an excuse to punish them. Allah sent them a reminder and they ignored it. Now that wind has become an excuse, a means by which they should be punished. Udr. A, a reason, a cause, an excuse that, that is now in creation that is witness against them. May Allah protect us from that. Udran aw nudra. And after all these oaths, these are the oaths, these are setting the stage, this is not even the argument yet. This is just preparing you for the argument. What's the actual point? Innama tu'aduna lawaqi. What you have been promised is no doubt going to become certainty. It is going to happen. You have been promised something, it is bound to occur. Either just like these winds that deliver Allah's mercy or Allah's wrath, you will be the recipient one day of Allah's extreme mercy or Allah's extreme wrath, it is bound to happen. Oaths in the Qur'an are a profound literary masterpiece in and of themselves. Each one of them. The surahs that begin with oaths demand special, special study, just in and of themselves. Right? And they're not all structured in the same way. It's an intricate study that a lot of our ulama went into.